the liquid levels that are that are on cylinders today, um, uh, you know, are 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 good tools to to show a customer basically how much product is in is in the vessel. Um, they're not super accurate where you're going to be able to determine, you know, if it's seven eighths full, but you've got a, a gauge there that will give you a, a full, half full, um, you know, empty uh, indicator. And things that you need to look out for there would be, uh, do I have the right gauge for the right gas operation? If a cylinder is in nitrogen service, um, the gauges that, that go on these vessels are calibrated for that specific gas. That gas has a, has a density, has a property that's going to be built into that gauge. And you need to make sure that you have the right gauge for the right gas operation. So, you know, if a common mistake would be a, a cylinder that's, that's a CGA 580 and it's being switched between nitrogen and argon use. And you want to make sure that the gauge is going to be for that gas. And the, the, the downside would be if that cylinder makes it out to the customer and, and the gauge is not working properly, and then the customer is going to feel that they didn't receive a full product of, of uh, liquid for that shipment. And you're going to get a call and you're going to have to, you know, either run out there possibly with another safety or reassure them that they got a full cylinder, but it's, it's still a call that you don't really just as soon not handle. So looking to make sure that you have the right gauge on there for the right gas is, is important.